Hey guys, what's up? This is Shekhar Suman here and you're watching The Shekhar Suman Show. Welcome to the episode 3 of this unique biosciences series which I host on a bi-weekly basis now. And today we're going to talk about something straight out of Hollywood movies. No, I'm not going to review any particular Hollywood movie, but I'm going to talk about something which used to be fiction a few years ago. ago but today it's a reality today every country is thinking about that no i'm not talking about pandemic i'm going to talk about something which is a derivative of pandemic india as a country we celebrated the national unity day on 31st of october and on that day we all took a pledge to stay united make this country strong today the unity of this country is being threatened by something which came straight out of hollywood movies you want to know more so let's dive in all right so the time was around 3 pm and the day was saturday and one of the editors of biotechnica gave me a call huffing and puffing she said you must see this news you got to see this news i was like okay what happened and uh, to my surprise after and i think for the first time mr ajit doval the national security advisor of india made this statement in one of the conferences and he said india has to strengthen its bio defense systems for tackling future pandemics and climate changes this is for the first time the top brass of drdo the top brass of the prime minister's office has acknowledged the need of developing the bio security bio defense system of india and this means a lot ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this means a lot but a small pathogen which used to be a fiction years ago we only used to hear about them in news ebola outbreak sars outbreak but never it happened at this scale in india now that it has happened our country and the top management of the country the government has woken up and this definitely is a good news for the biosciences community but how big good news that we should talk about so on 20th october when he said this he made the statement he also mentioned about how important it is to strengthen our bi- biosecurity and uh, he mentioned about how any rogue scientist in a diy lab a do it yourself lab could develop uh, or weaponize a pathogen which can impact the population at large given that now we have genome editing technologies and what not the need was felt i think a decade ago but now that a pandemic has come and gone probably gone and the disaster is knocking at our doors we can see a fourth wave coming in in russia china us a lot of people lost their lives even our near india ones lost their lives now that the government has woken up how important this news is for you and for all of us let us analyze that now anything which has never happened bears no significance even though everybody or some pe- some knowledgeable people are talking about it pe- other people will never pay attention to it unless that thing has happened so pandemics was always talked in almost every i think 70% of the hollywood movies they have talked about one or the other pandemic now that it is it has happened a developing country like india needs to have a strong bio defense system because we really have scarce resources one of the strongest resources which our country has got is human resource and when our human resource gets, gets impacted by pandemics like these the entire economic activity comes to a halt now i'm not saying that covid-19 pandemic was a bio weaponized or a bio weapon but all i am saying is there is a probability that in future somebody could do that so if that's possible then definitely our drdo should also have something similar to what darpa has 
United States has DARPA. Europe and Russia and China, all have, all of them have a bio weapons or bio defense systems. But our country, we're happy testing Agni missile. Well, I have no problems with that. But when we start working on the bio defense system, bio weapon system, or bio security system, not just the regular stuff, I see a huge change in the way our country is perceived in the world. And at the same time, I see huge opportunities for all the bio scientists, all the bio professionals, just like you. This will lead to more employment in the government sector under the DRDO. And it's not very far. It's not like it will happen five years later. The need has already been felt. That is why the National Security Advisor is talking about it. And I'm sure they have already started working uh, and, uh, you know, creating the groundwork for this particular department. Now, if that has already happened, if that is already happening, then you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you all. Start equipping yourself with more skill sets. Do your PhD in whatever relevant uh, topics you can, which is relevant to this. And you see how our country or employers will welcome you. Having said that, it is also a good work. You're working towards a stronger nation. And of course, you, because of your work, so many people will uh, get rescued out of this these rogue pathogens, which will keep, uh, you know, impacting our society at large. Now, one of the thing, key things which he also talked about is climate change. And recently, the G20 summit happened and um, the leaders have taken this decision that, yes, they are going to take a call on this and uh, but, but yes no solid decision has been taken but yes there is awareness the awareness is coming climate change is one aspect where you can do your research and uh, of course um, protecting your country from bio weapons protecting your country from um, artificial or natural pathogens who can potentially become a pandemic take the shape of a pandemic or epidemic you have a great role to play as a bioscientist. And I genuinely believe that if we take this news seriously and if you all start working in this direction, start learning virology, whatever, okay, um, which you feel is relevant, you all have a great future. The bioscientific community has already been acknowledged during the pandemic. And now that we are going to be absorbed into the nation's biodefense, biosecurity systems, I'm sure biosciences and bioscience professionals, which I told you two years ago that uh, our time has come. The time has begun. The time has started, guys. This news is a great news. Now, having said that, um, 20 years ago, now let me come to the another uh, part of today's episode where I'm going to talk about something about information. So 20 years ago, information revolution happened, right? And today we are seeing the side effects of information revolution. We all are overloaded with irrelevant information today and not relevant ones, right? And this kind of gossip has led to people talking about artificial issues more often than real issues. Biodefense is a real issue, which bogged down our country. The entire economy, and everybody's life came to a standstill. This is a real issue which must be talked about. And uh, you have to talk about it to your peers. You have to talk about it with your friends. And if you don't find time doing that, please forward this episode to them. They will definitely realize how important biosafety, biosecurity is. Now, having said that, information technology, they, there is a side effect of information technology, which is there is a fake news, which is uh, shown right now on your screen here. So this fake news has been circulating on Facebook, probably. And where somebody called Dr. Pandey uh, has posted that CSIR is under Prime Minister of India and due to decreasing GDP and annual income of India, the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has rejected the conducting of this exam for two times. Now, this is all fake news, okay? So, this is a very important point which I want to make here. Please don't fall prey to the side effects of information revolution. There's a lot of irrelevant information out there. Please protect yourself from that. 
and this is one such uh, fake news which is circulating saying that the exam won't happen which is not true on i think 12 or 18th of uh, last month csi rhd has already tweeted that they're going to conduct the exam and very soon it's going to happen and again just imagine how can they not conduct the exam in the long run they have to conduct it twice a year the reason being india needs so many bioscientists the reason being so many srfs and jrf who will in future become scientists are going to be a part of the bio defense program of this country right so how can this discontinue this exam it's going not going to happen it's just that there are operational issues csir hrdg conducts csir net and nt is the testing agency and ladies and gentlemen boys and girls remember this this that this is the only entrance exam where uh, after your qualification after qualifying this exam you are paid none of the entrance exam does that there are very very few so they have to pay you real money if you qualify this exam right so they have to really go through a lot of back and forth back channel and front channel approvals before they actually go and announce it and they are already on track of it the exam is not postponed so this fake news which you are seeing is completely irrelevant it doesn't exist somebody out of their fantasy who posts that she is from iit delhi iit madras or london university there is no such london university right and she has mentioned that she is a data scientist in samsung galaxy berlin germany i mean why would that person come and post such irrelevant news on the internet so it's completely fake it's completely irrelevant please don't pay attention to all such news which is being posted on social media the exam will happen very very soon so that's the second part of this system now coming to a question which is asked on youtube by someone very recently like two or three days ago and uh, let me pull that question out for you all right so the question which was asked to me in the youtube comment is like this so the person wants to know is it necessary to do a phd if you want to succeed in your life in your career in biosciences now the answer to this question is yes and no yes it's not necessary i'm not a phd you need to just be updated about the latest things which is happening inculcate new skills and proceed forward you don't need a phd to be successful but having said that to climb on higher ranks of this bureaucratic world where educational qualification also matters i would say you can because there are always for any government job or any job where they have a minimal minimum qualification and they have mentioned phd then you will miss out on that so if you don't want to miss out on that definitely you can do phd but i don't think doing a phd if you don't do a phd you will die it won't happen and it's not that if you don't do a phd you won't grow you will i'm an example in front of you you don't need that but what you need is a passion for your subject and a never say die attitude right so these were the three questions three issues which i wanted to ha- uh, handle today the first one is very important which is related to all of you the this particular comment which has come by the nsa which says india needs a bio defense system to protect itself from deliberate weaponization of dangerous pathogens and the next one is about the fake news circulating on social media and the third one do you really need a phd to succeed in uh, your career in life, life sciences so uh, I've, i hope i've answered all of them if you still have any question any comments any feedback anything which you would like to know from us then you know where to go the comment section please post it there and i would love to answer them in my next episode now before i leave today's episode i wish to highlight one important thing for all of you the world is finally waking up to the importance of bioscientific community and if you are ready you will be able to encash this deal you are the luckiest most in past 100 years because you are studying biosciences while a pandemic has happened so you have a chance of encashing your degree or your qualification or your skill set because the world is awakening to this new normal but if you're not ready don't blame me don't blame anyone else except yourself if you don't take charge okay so these thoughts i wish to say you goodbye 
I'll see you in the episode number four, which will again be something related to infotainment in biosciences industry. Now, at the same time, please take care, stay safe and happy Diwali to all of you. Bye-bye.